get into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. As we get set to watch Josh Rosen command this offense, the number 10 pick in the 2018 draft. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. for Kenyon Drake. It'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down. Joey Bolson with the tackle for loss. How about that pedigree in his family? Yeah, some good pedigree. Tell us about it, Mr. Davis. Dad played in the NFL, first round draft pick. Uncle was a first round draft pick. He's got a brother coming behind him. But Joey Bosa, guy plays really, really hard and plays all aspects on defense. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Running from the shotgun with Drake. Nine good yards here on the run and now third down. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. It's complete to Drake. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Five yards. Is the pick up there as that extends this drive? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Double, double. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. Kill, kill, Running, kill. it's Drake. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Time to feature the offensive starters and our first chance to get a look at Parker. Devontae Parker came out of Louisville with a guy who was known as a mature receiver. Runs routes really well, but the best part of his game, he'll jump over you at the end of a route and go get the football. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Check 31. Check 31. On 
on second down, it's Drake. And he is met in his... Tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Going deep here for Parker. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Parker, the intended target. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm the boy. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Third down, Barkley. Well, he's got some breathing room. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. How about our reigning AFC player of the week? Hot footing it into the secondary on that run. Yeah, nice long run. That's what got him the award a week ago. Maybe he's trying for two in a row here this week. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. 
So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era <laughs> oh, no. we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. That's caught out wide by Stills. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Throws it here down around his own goal line. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The safety, Keanu Neal, there to knock that one free. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Now Brown. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Patriots take over. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes flushed out right. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. Tackle made there by Nick Perry. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, it's Hunt. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense.
looking to throw on second down. Mahomes, complete the tight end, Kelsey. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. even try to signal for a timeout so they must have not been aware of the numbers i think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him game a costly one as they're backed up five for first and goal after the penalty they go with Barkley and he's going to work this one down to about the five a good pick up there seven yards and it's going to be second and goal now and the ball smacked down on the five yard line here's second and goal another try for Barkley and he'll get this one back to the five yard line but no further than that It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Parkin. And he'll get nothing out of that one. They were ahead of schedule after the game was seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, oh. two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Here's Rosen. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Rosen to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. On second and 10, Rosen, and he hits Drake. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Deion Jones racking up sack number 12 for him on the year.
Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they'll start with a first and 10 at their own 20. The Pats at the line ready to go. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has really. They come up here now first down. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely. Second and three. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Now Mahomes steps away to his left. And that's complete to Adams. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And they'll get three out of the dump off there, and that'll lead to a third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there. It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down now, it's Lindsey. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. A first down carry for Barkley, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Throwing on second down. Mahomes flush to his right. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. New England on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to go up top for the end. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. difficult to do to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield and that's what it actually turns into a heave and that's not really a good throw is it not good and we saw the result that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down 
We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. On second down, it's Drake. And not a whole lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Dolphins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Now Rosen looking to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. On first down, Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They go play action. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I would say it would probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Mahomes now to throw. Dancing to his left. The 20. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 6-9-9. Here's Mahomes to throw. Caught. It's the tight end, Kelsey, for a New England touchdown. Travis Kelsey. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead grows to 10 0. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. To the touchdown. Here's Rosas on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down now, it's Drake. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. 
I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, Drake. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll throw it with Rosen. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Deion Jones, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. The Dolphins on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 17. Now Rosen. And the pressure gets to him again. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Philip Lindsay and the rest of the offense heading back out. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. He'll buy some time right. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. To try again after the sack. Mahomes. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Come on. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming, double up. Six guys. Check six. Now Saquon Barkley. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Mahomes to throw on second down, eluding the pressure right. This will be caught by Brown. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. 
Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes. And it's caught. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. They come out here in the eye. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Kareem Hunt in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Rosas to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Patriots to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. with a run from Barkley. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. You got it. You got it. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On first down, Barkley. And able to 
to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. First down, they'll run with Hunt. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Check, check. Check, check. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop him on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's caught. Jones. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Boy, the run on first down, a disaster as he's tackled well behind the line of scrimmage. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and 15 now. Mahomes. It's caught here by Adams. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. It's Mahomes. Flushed out right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Saquon Barkley. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And there the counter play proves successful for the touchdown. What typically makes a counter play in general successful, Charles? But what you're trying to do, Brandon, is to get the team moving in one direction, meaning the defense. Get them going in one direction and then wall them off with your blocking and bring it back in the other direction. That way, you don't actually have to punish them with your blocking. You just position them. And if you have any kind of a good back, he'll take full advantage of it and gain good yardage. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. After the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. 
Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A little jet sweep to start the drive, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Deion Jones in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in their sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen, and that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground, and fourth down now coming up. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. With it is Brown. A very good return there, giving it even 20 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And give credit to Reuben Foster, the linebacker, getting a hand in to disrupt. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mahomes firing complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Rosas now to add the PAT. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a draw play with Drake. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On third down, Rosa. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Damon Harrison bringing in 341 pounds of power for the sack. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, but they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. He's right there on the doorstep now. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go to Barkley again. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. On third down, Barkley. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. from just shy of midfield. Mahomes, he's going deep for Brown. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They run the counter, Barkley, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes forced out to his left. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Let's go! 
So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. They'll try to draw Lindsay. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Watch twist. Watch twist. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? On the run, it's Barkley. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown number 22 on the season as his guys continue to pour it on. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. PAT up and good by Rosas, and that will extend this big lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the rookie, Saquon Barkley, the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. To throw is Rosen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Rosen. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. The Dolphins on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and ten. Here's Rosen. And that is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Here's Matt Hawk now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far.
Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And, Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Paltz, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? right. The best teams we've seen so far this year, the best games that we've called thus far, how we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions because the game certainly not taking us there oh i hear the remotes clicking off right now why 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 43 check check 43 now a play fake here on first down they'll roll him out right and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in line of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 watch the screen This is Barkley. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They'll run it again with Barkley. He's got the first down and more past midfield. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run on first down. Barkley. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. First down is Mahomes, being chased out left. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A 22-yard touchdown grab as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he used to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one she's of our singing, guys. too. Oh, no, she's singing. She, yeah. She's, at she's least, on, like, the fifth tune at Yeah, this she, point. she left scales way behind. But he used to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And the drive starts with a completion. Left side. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Rosen to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. well. This one winding toward a conclusion. And how would you assess how the secondary is played? Well, we just saw them take another shot downfield that was incomplete, correct? Correct. So my assessment is that if anyone's played really well in this game, 
it's been the secondary. That was the latest example. Yeah, they've been solid. Really, the whole defense has been solid. Still pitching a shutout. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Under crunch, under crunch, under crunch. Deuce, 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 deuce. They begin with a run by Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Kelsey, the intended receiver there, and it's third down. New England on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third down and 12. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, Lindsey. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. I'm coming after you. I got it. Throwing on second and eight, Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Olivier Vernon, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Rosen, it's complete to Drake. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. The Dolphins on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Rosen. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. This is taken at his four. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Right here, no, I'm right not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won about, every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, a team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season... I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before 
now is dominating and kicking around a team who have been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there go. and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. First carry for the fullback, James Devlin. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you've got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming out. You. And a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. And he's going to get it down on, to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Steps away. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So Cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A gain of three, second down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Mahomes going to throw it here. Fine time to us. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, wh what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. Rosas to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone.
Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready. for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on. Get it done. And maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. One final shot here for Rosen. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Patriots, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to 2-7. and seven. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.